Well, going back out with the Hasselblad camera today, and as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I've been doing a big project on the Canadian prairies with my Hasselblad camera, black and white film, photographing everything in a square format. I love the square format. Square format for me works really well on these prairie scenes, the scenics, the towns, the small buildings. But uh, working on these big projects, one of the big problems that uh, you know I'm facing right now, like so many of you as well, is the cost of film is skyrocketing. In Canada now, film has gotten to be about $10 a roll for Ilford black and white film. And by the time you develop it, by the time you do a contact sheet, by the time you work in the darkroom, you're probably looking at almost $15 a roll of film. So the prices on all of this stuff is getting really high. Now, if you're a YouTuber and you go out and you shoot a roll of film or two and, and say, oh, you know, it's, it's great shooting film, you know, that, that will work well. I mean, I mean the, the, the price of that isn't gonna be very much and it's just not gonna hurt you. But when you start working on bigger projects and you start shooting 100 rolls of film or 150 rolls of film, the cost gets up there quite a bit. Now, I love my Hasselblad. I'm never gonna quit shooting film, never gonna sell this camera. But what I have been trying for the past couple of days and, and what I'm going to be using is this new Hasselblad X1D2. Now, I know it's not new. I know it's a couple of years old, but this has to win the award for pretty much the sexiest camera ever built. This is such a beautiful camera. It is wonderful industrial design. I love the minimalist features of this, hardly any buttons. I shoot everything on manual anyway because I'm still metering and I know my light and I, I wanna push things a, a certain way. But this 50 megapixel sensor is amazing. What I found so far is the sensor and the and you know the look of the images from this sensor is fantastic. One of the things I really like about this camera is that I can uh, put it into a square mode, and in that now this is going to be a review of this camera. There's a million review, reviews of this camera on YouTube. Of course, one of the biggest drawbacks and one of the biggest things people say about this camera is the autofocus. Yes, it is slow. And I've tried this camera out before a couple years ago, and I found that it was slow as well. And like many of you and myself, what I try to do is make this camera like a modern day, or use it like a modern day digital camera, where the autofocus is quick and you can do street photography and everything else. Well, you can't on this camera. This camera is like a film camera. If you shift gears, and I'm so used to shooting 4x5 and 5x7 large format and film photography. If you switch gears and slow down, this camera becomes a whole different beast. I'm using it on a tripod a lot. I'm just taking one photo. I'm not looking at the motor drive. I don't care about that. I find the focus is very accurate. Yes, it's not very fast. And it's easy to go into manual focus as well. So I'm comparing it to this Hasselblad that I have to manually focus all the time. This camera is in fact faster. So I'm not looking for speed, I'm looking for quality. And this 50 megapixel sensor is amazing. I still find with the Hasselblad color signs, the, the color images out of this thing is amazing. And I have a Sony a7R III and it doesn't come close to this, and that's a 42 megapixel camera. I'm a big fan of quality, and for me, that's what it's all about, is getting that quality and trying to make some big prints. So my friends at the camera store got me hooked up with a camera and a couple lenses, and I'm gonna take it out to the prairies, and I'm gonna shoot it side by side with my Hasselblad film camera, and I can, I'm gonna see if it can fit into my work stream and my workflow and see how this beast kinda of reacts. Um, it feels wonderful in the hands. I mean, uh, there's few cameras that feel as good as this thing. And like I said, the way I plan on using this camera, using it in a square format finder, I think it's gonna suit me really well. The camera is built amazingly. It's so solid, the lenses are great. I've tried the Fujis. The Fujis are very nice. I like the I like the files out of the Fujis. The color is wonderful. I'm not a big fan of the Fuji cameras. 
they feel kind of plastically, very light. Again, there's a lot of buttons on there. Um, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of the Fuji system. It doesn't kind of excite me to grab a, a, you know, one of those Fuji cameras and use it. This thing, on the other hand, is really, really, uh, it's just a lovely camera. I also have this L bracket that allows me to shoot it vertically and horizontally on a tripod. And the other great thing about this is this handle almost gives me two points of reference so I can really hold this camera steady. So I'm excited about taking it out and using it and I will uh, show you some of the results as I go out and use this out in the field. And I'm gonna see if this camera might fit into my whole system of working on this project and working on the prairies. Looking forward to it. Well, I'm back in the studio and I've been working on these Hasselblad files. They are really nice. They are juicy. The tonal range is amazing on these things. The color looks great. The black and white looks great. I've made a few prints here and of course the prints look wonderful, but I mean, you know, they're eight and a half by 11 prints. So iPhone prints are going to look good, but I can tell I could print really, really big and these files would look great. So I'm kind of a little closer to this Hasselblad. I'm really, really liking it. I want to thank my friends at the camera store for helping me out and hooking me up with this camera. Hasselblad had nothing to do with this. Uh, so, it, you know, this wasn't a review anyway. This is just for me to see if this camera is gonna work in my flow. And I'm really liking it. So it's gonna be uh, a little bit of thinking to see if I should pick this up or not. I've always wanted a medium format camera. Thanks for watching and coming along for the ride. Leave me a like, leave me a comment about uh, what you think of this episode. And I will see you next time. Everybody stay safe. Cheers.